Shushwap Lifeboat Society is the non-profit business entity of Station 106 Shushwap, Royal Canadian Marines Search and Rescue. Our community volunteers provide a water-based search and rescue response 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Operational since May 2012, Station 106 is consistently one of the busiest stations in BC and is the only one established and operating on inland waters. A crew complement of 25 unpaid search and rescue professionals operate on Shushwap and Mara Lakes. We are completely reliant on grants and donations to meet our mandate of saving lives on the water. Our vessels and crew operate in harmony with other emergency responders, including three RCMP detachments, 14 fire departments, BC Wildfire Service, Ground Search and Rescue, and BC Ambulance. In 2022, construction began on the Two Bay Boathouse. The new rescue base will safeguard our rescue vessels and improve our operations. We are very appreciative of the Shoe Shop's great generosity and a BC Community Gaming Grant to build this facility. Our volunteers live here, always sensitive to protecting the Shushrop's environment. This is a great day for us as we celebrate um, progress of a five-year project in the building of our boathouse. It's really an honor this morning to invite uh, our first guest to come forward and that is uh, the representative of the Splatson Band of the Shukwakmak Nation, Ukukki Doug Thomas. Doug? What you do is very important. I wanted to acknowledge that. You know, you save, you know, you do, what you do saves lives. You do it as volunteers and, um, you know, you're the salt of the earth. You know, that's, I hear you're up to 26 people now and, you know, you've been around for 10 years. So I think it's, you know, high time that you got this facility. So I'm very honored to be here today. Uh, invited to things like this, it's an honor, you know, to be part of uh, and, you know, the important work that you do. So my hands up to everybody, you know, that's involved in this project and uh, uh, an opening for a prayer from one of our elders and she's also a band counselor. So once again, welcome everybody. Good stand. Thank you. I pray that everybody that touches the water respects it because water is one of the life forces of, of everybody, not just the indigenous groups. We need to respect the waters. In uh, my heart, pray that everybody that uses the waters this summer, that, that they be mindful and respectful so that um, <clears throat> we will not have any casualties on our waterways. I pray to be really teachable about uh, the search and rescue Kukchan, Kapki Thomas, Elder Thomas Kukchan. And you've got to understand um, the complexity of this. There is 600 kilometers of shoreline. And so the importance of this organization is absolutely astronomical. But this lake is the thing that connects us, that keeps us working together. And this organization, in my mind, is the embodiment of everything we love about this lake. And the work that all of you do um, to honor our love of the lake, to keep each other safe, to cooperate in times of great difficulty, is one of the most beautiful things about living in the Shushua. So on behalf of Mayor and Council, the City of Salmon Arm, the citizens of Salmon Arm, um, I do have my profound gratitude for your work and congratulations on um, this astounding and important project. Have truly made a difference with your passion and your volunteering. Obviously, you're a team and all of your other volunteers in the other organizations make a difference. Most importantly, thanks to all of you for what you do to make this lake safe for a guy like me 
who grew up on the water on the island and came here because of the water. So thank you, and this is truly an exciting moment, a regional initiative, a great job by everybody involved. Thank you. I've had the pleasure of working with uh, Bruce and Pat, Cliff and Rob. Since 2019, I believe we had the first conversation about building this boathouse. So uh, it's been a long time coming. So without all the support of all the groups, associations that are sitting here today um, that support this project, it would never have happened. So for all of you, thank you very much indeed. Um, there's a lot of engineering that's gone into this regarding flotation um, and all those uh, the loads for snow, wind, um, and everything that else that goes with it so that the, the unit can operate in the, in the means that it needs to. I understand Rob, Rob Sullivan, and I think it's very fitting that he strikes the first arc. Uh, and with your support, we can even more effectively embrace our mission, saving lives on the water.